<laughs> you threw out this on the way to the stage. Oh, oh, okay. Thank you, Giorgio. <laughs> Why have I never seen you wear this hat before? Oh, this is, uh, yeah, this is just... Hey, well, say, that's a uh, collect collectible <laughs> theme park pin cap. Yeah. I got one of these at home. I'm going to give it to my son, Kevin, when I die, because he's got more shit to throw away. <laughs> <laughs> Yes, no, this is, uh, I, I collect pins from every theme park I go to. Uh, yeah, this is actually very near and dear to my heart. Thank you for grabbing this. Yeah, I got one here from uh, Cedar Point and one from uh, Fiesta Family Village uh, uh, over in, in San Bernardino, California. Yeah, got great corn dog puppies. Really good. Uh, actually, actually, corn dog. Now there's man's best friend. <laughs> yeah, mine's only got a couple on it, you know. Like the got one from the Coca-Cola Cool Zone down in Bush Gardens in Virginia, and a real special one because I ralphed on Mr. Toad's Wild Ride down at Disney World in Orlando. Kenny, you have one from Orlando right here. What is that? Oh, yeah, no, 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 no. I mean, no, no, no. the Typhoon Lagoon, Fast Eddie's Parkway. Nope. Rick, uh, this pin is from from SeaWorld Orlando, August 11th, 1999. <laughs> you were in SeaWorld in 1999? What the happened? I was 22. And I had just delivered my mom oh. to a retirement community in Boulder <laughs> Raton, Florida. <laughs> I, uh, Need a little bit of R&R, &R and a snack, because I had skipped lunch. <laughs> so I decided to head over to SeaWorld to see what all the fuss was about. Grab some theme park snacks. <laughs> Wandered around there for a little bit, and uh, couldn't really find any vendors. So I, I did spot one in one of the amphitheaters, so I walked in and was immediately seated by an usher who said the show was about to start. Boy, was he sure right. <laughs> Sitting there for about five minutes before I first saw the whale. Tried flagging down the churro guy, but he didn't see me. And every time I, uh, every time I yelled cashews at the nut guy, he would yell back, "Bless you." <laughs> Feeling desperate, but I did spot a dipping dot stand right near the edge of the edge of the tank there. So I bounded down the steps. Losing my balance a little bit, I whizzed right past that ice cream of the future and tumbled into the tank. <laughs> yeah, a bunch of the trainers and other vendors jumped in after me to help, but it was not an easy task. Oh, I was wearing a full sweatsuit and getting real flaily when I'm scared. <laughs> Trust me, I was scared. Our little group was in the water for about four minutes before the first of the killer whales came up on us. <laughs> Think what killer whales is. Uh, their eyes are full of life. Yeah, and they, I can tell, were hungrier than me. They wanted a little bit of kin meat. <laughs> the pretzel guy kept trying to throw in food after that, but that wasn't doing the trick. No, no, no. Nope. By the end of the show, we had lost 40 funnel cakes, 100 bags of cashews, and about 20 trainers who had jumped in to save us. <laughs> it was just me and a young female trainer who uh, survived the whole ordeal and ended up being my wife and now ex-wife Deborah. <laughs> Built like a softball player, she was. <laughs> she uh, floated me to safety on the half-eaten body of a glow stick vendor. <laughs> <laughs> that was last time I went to a theme park. August 11th, 1999. <laughs> but at least I delivered my mom. To, uh, to her place, uh, I'll tell you, good to get rid of her, she was a terrible fucking cook. <laughs> <laughs> Never obviously brought it up. Yeah, I know, Rick, I just, I was excited actually to, to go on this this cruise with SeaWorld because I, I just feel like I owe something to all those funny hat wearing fucks who died that day. <laughs> <laughs> This is a horrific experience, Ken, but you understand that 
We are hired to keep the whales in captivity. The attack's gonna happen again. No, 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 not again. Not if we do it right this time. Not if we don't get any snacks involved. <laughs> what the hell do you know anyway? You eat gelato. You don't know anything about deep doubts. <laughs> gelato is so much creamier than ice cream. Way better. Everybody knows. No, it's an ice cream of the future. Give it the time. <laughs> Get it off the chest, <laughs> off the vest a little bit. But uh, I'll tell you, I'll tell you who's not going to be dark and who's going to tell you some some funny jokes is our next comic. Woo! Woo!